Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, I am going to show you how can you do setup GoFish on your cloud. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. So there is a one thing which is really necessary in this particular setup, which is cloud account. So in my case, I am using DigitalOcean, but in your case, if you have any other cloud provider account like AWS, Google Cloud, Hezner, Contabo, or anything, you can use that particular cloud also. But I prefer the uh, this particular digital version in your case if you don't have yet created the cloud account then please check link in the description where you will get additional hundred dollar for creating the account on digital ocean from my referral link so that you will have some funds to play around on the digital ocean okay so let's move forward let me click on the create and click on the droplet where we will be creating our uh, server so the location is going to be the de default New York. Uh, Ubuntu OS that I'm going to use. Version is 22.04. The basic plan and in the regular plan, I can select one core, one CPU also. It really depends which plan you want to select. GoFish is not a heavy process. GoFish is a quite lightweight process. So I don't think so you need any bigger VPS. If you are testing right now, I suggest go with the, this particular $6 plan. Let me go ahead and let me click on the password and let me add my password right here. Okay, once you do the password, let me type the name of the instance, which is going to be test and let me click on the create droplet. So that you will give me the droplet. It usually take around few seconds to create a one. Okay, so our server is ready or you can say our droplet is ready. Let me copy this particular IP address right here. Okay. Now, in order to log in into the server from Windows, I have two options. Either I can use the CMD or I can use the PuTTY. Those who are uh, really good with the PuTTY, they can go with the PuTTY. But in my case, I'm going to use the CMD because I basically prefer simple solutions. Okay. So let me click right here. SSH root at IP address. Okay. So this is how I'm going to log in. Uh, if you are doing login in the very first time, then it will ask for confirmation. So let me say yes, and then it will ask for the password. So let me type my password, and that should give you access to the server. So the very first thing I do is uh, clear and apt update. Okay. So why apt update? Apt update will make sure that all of the repositories in the this particular OS will be a latest version and apt upgrade will make sure that all of the packages in the OS will be at latest version. So right now it is saying could not uh, get a lock uh, because it is held by the other process. So I am assuming it is automatically getting upgraded in the backend. Okay, so let me try again. Okay, so this time it works. So it has around 273 MB of the update. So let me click enter and it will update. Now it really depends uh, how much big update is and how much uh, resources are there on the server. So speed depends on that. Okay, and I'll suggest complete this process because it will assure that at least minimum security is there on your VPS. At least you are not using any outdated packages, right? Okay, so process is complete. Let me hit enter button and let me hit enter one more time. And that should complete the process. Now, let me clear this screen. And the next thing we need to do is we need to open the browser and here we need to open the GoFish. So I'll say GoFish on the Google. And let me click on the official link and click on the download. So that will take on, on the GitHub page. Uh, which is release page. So this is the latest release. If I scroll down in the asset, I will find these particular links. Linux 32 bit, Linux 64 bit. So we are just going to copy link address for 64 bit. Let me minimize, go here and type w get and then this particular link. So that will download the zip file for me. So if I do ls, can you see the zip file is already there and it's downloaded. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll type nzip and I'll type the uh, name which is gofish whatever it is, the zip file name. So it is saying the unzip package is not there, you have to install using this command. 
So let me just copy this particular command and paste it right here. This will install the zip package. Okay. So let's wait until this package is getting installed. Okay, it's there. Now let me execute the previous command that I executed a uh, few minutes ago, which is unzip gofish and whatever the zip file name is. So looks like the extraction process has been complete. So if I do ls it is extracted in the same folder hmm okay no problem no problem uh, we can go with this one also or we can extract in the another folder also it's up to us but right now let's go with the this one just remember that uh, the zip file had these files which one license readme version config.json db gofish binary this is gofish binary and then static and template these two files were present from the beginning okay they, they are not uh, from the zip file okay great uh, next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have executable permission on the gofish binary so let's say series mode plus x and you can type gofish and that will give you the executable permission for gofish if i do ls can you see it is turned into the green that means now it has the executable permission. Now let's open the config.json and let's see what's inside. So if I do nano, nano and config.json. So in the config.json, as you can see, we have the some configuration for admin server, then uh, for phishing server and in general configuration. So let's start with the in general configuration. So in the DB name, you will find the SQLite 3, which is the database name where all of the credentials that we are going to use in the gofish are going to be stored so by default it has this particular name we can change it not only that we can change the path also similarly we have other options to add some prefix then contact address and if you want to collect the details log then you can use the logging mechanism also now back to the this particular admin server so what is the admin server when we run the gofish we get one uh, URL or dashboard. So that's basically admin admin panel. So for that we have these particular options where we should run the admin panel. So this is the IP address which is local IP address. This is the port which is uh, uh, any random port. It is using TLS certificate but yes it is self signed certificate. These are the paths and is there any trusted origin. So what is trusted origin? So by default, GoFish supports the API access also. That means if you want to do something on GoFish, we can call through the API also. We can make the call through API. So for that, it has a trusted origin so that we can add only our trusted IP address or domain name so that no one can else send their request to our GoFish server. Okay. Now here we have to make small change. Right now, the admin URL is on the 127.0.0.1 but it's a local address so that means it will be not visible on the internet so we are going to use 0.0.0.0, .0 so that it will run on all interfaces that means it will run on our public ip address also great now there is a fish server which is phishing server similarly we have a listen url a tls certificate is false right now key and path and whatever it is Okay, right now, as of now, we are going to use this self sign certificate. But once I demonstrate it, I'll add the SSL certificate, the valid SSL certificate. I'll show you. Okay, now let me save the file using Control S, then exit from the Control X. Okay, now what I will do, I'll do ls, I'll check everything is there or not, and I'll execute this using dot slash go fish. Now, once I execute, it will give me some stuff. Let's say it will give me user is admin, the password is this one. It, then it will tell me this is the URL where you log in. Okay. But some of you might face the uh, one issue right here. It will say permission denied or something at the end of the line. So in that case, what you need to do is you need to add sudo in the command. Okay. sudo dot slash uh, gofish. So that's what you should execute. If you are creating the server on the let's say AWS or Google, then you have to use this particular command. But in my case, I already have root access. So I'm just going to uh, continue with this one. 
great now let me copy this particular url but there is a problem again it is saying 0.0.0.0 so we don't have to copy this one what we can do is we can go to the, our cloud account copy the ip address and use that ip address as it is but make sure that you are using the right port okay otherwise it will end in the error so let me go ahead right here and port was 333 4 times 3 okay and now it is saying client sent an http request to https server that means it has https connection so let me add https and now it is showing this error so it's common because we are using save sign certificate as of now so that's why this error is there let me click on the proceed and uns uh, with unsay username is admin and the password let me copy from the terminal so this is the password okay let me go back right here paste the password and sign in now it will ask me for change password so i'm going to use exactly same password with the some uh, additional characters at the end and let me click on this save password now it didn't pop up for the saving password so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create one file right here nano p and i'm going to add that particular password right here in case i don't forget okay let me restart this uh, sorry let me restart this gofish and go back to the url one more time or dashboard one more time and uh, it will ask me for login one more time no issue i'll log in and can you see it is there working completely fine the dashboard is ready so yeah this is how you set up gofish on any server uh, in next video i'll tell you how you can set up the SSL certificate for the GoFish so that whatever the not secure error that you are getting right here that will go away right so yeah that's pretty much all for this particular video thanks for watching and see you in the next